If your dog or cat has developed a lump on their skin, then today I'm going to talk about exactly how to know whether it needs removing or whether you can safely leave it alone. My first question is from Stuart, who has an older Vizsla, and Stuart writes that Tucker has a wart-like cyst on the outer flap of his ear. It's about three millimetres across and round. Um, it's clean, it's not appearing to be infected, so how can Stuart go about removing this lump? Well, I'll start off by saying that really only a qualified veterinarian can perform an act of surgery on an animal. That's a, a legal requirement. So I certainly wouldn't encourage you just to go chopping bits off your dog kind of willy-nilly. Now, whether this mass needs removing or not is the next question. And different types of mass, they do really need to be approached differently. So we've got things like skin tags or sebaceous cysts, which are benign lumps. And benign means that although they're, they're growing in that local area, they're not going to spread to other parts of the body and cause problems elsewhere. So we've got benign, benign masses like skin tags or sebaceous cysts. Um, also lipomas would fit into this category, which is a very common lump that we get generally under the skin of larger breed and especially overweight dogs. But these can all be safely left if they're not causing a problem. Other tumours though, so malignant tumours which are more nasty, they may be really invasive locally so they can kind of cause real problems with where they are or if they're kind of going to ulcerate, cause problems like that, or if they're going to spread to other parts of the body. So typically that's the lungs, but it can also be the liver, kidneys, and we can get tumours, kind of secondary tumours forming elsewhere in the body. So these tumours can need to be, need, you know, ideally need to be removed. And some of them will need to be removed with really wide margins. So you'll have to kind of go quite a long way outside of what the obvious tumour looks like, just to try and make sure that we completely remove that mass. Um, so when do we know if a tumour is a benign lump and we don't need to worry about it or if it's a nastier lump because of where it is or how it's growing or because of its potential to spread? Well, ideally all masses that are larger than a pea, all lumps that are larger than the size of a pea or that have been present for longer than a month really should be checked out by your vet. Now, the quickest way that we can check that and your vet may be able to check that to let you know if it's benign um, in the case of a skin tag or a cyst is to do something called a fine needle aspirate or an FNA. And what happens here is we take a, a small, narrow, thin needle, um, we pop that into the mass, we then try and suck up a few cells or we kind of move the needle backwards and forwards into the mass uh, uh, kind of on a, a, a kind of in a rapid basis and that takes a few cells from the mass into the needle which we then pop onto a slide and look at that under the microscope. So that's a really well tolerated test so in the vast, in the vast cases um, we don't need to do any sedation, we don't need to worry about local anaesthetic or anything like that. A dog and a cat they just won't really notice that it's, that, that it's being done, that test is being carried out. Now in some cases for example if a mass was really close to an eye uh, or a dog was really sensitive, if a mass was really sore then it might be that that's not the best option and we need to sedate, sedate them and then we can carry out a fine needle aspirate or an FNA or it might be that we want to take a further biopsy. But that's a really easy, simple and cheap test that we can do to see whether a lump is benign or malignant, whether it's a little bit nastier. Now, it doesn't always give an absolute definitive diagnosis, meaning that we don't always get a specific answer. And the reason for that is you can appreciate we're just taking a really small number of cells. So it might be that we're actually missing the main problem area within that lump. It might be that we get a little bit of dead cells, for example, within the middle of a, of a tumour, which is sometimes what can happen. So we don't always get a very good answer, but that's a really simple first step. And then once we've got that proper diagnosis of the problem, we can then move on to planning surgery. So it might be that the surgery is not needed. Uh, it might be that actually, yes, we do need to do surgery, and but, well, but we need to look a little bit closer. So we might need to take some samples of the lymph nodes just to check that the mass hasn't spread. Or it might be that we want to plan a, a really kind of more radical surgery just to make sure that we get the, the margins. Now, in Stuart's case with his Vizsla, a kind of a wart-like cyst on the outer flap of his ear, I suspect that that's going to be a benign lump, but there's no way that anyone can say that without actually looking at that. And it might be that your vet takes one look at it and goes, no, that's just a skin tag. We don't need to worry about it. Let's just leave it alone. So, you know, if it's, if it's not causing any problems, if it's not growing um, and it's not a nasty tumour, then why actually remove it in the first place? We can just leave it alone and it's just essentially a cosmetic problem.